Hey, make sure you join the Discord. The link can be found down below in the description. Hey, what is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'll be showing you this amazing auto rifle. Guys, I can't lie, this might actually be my new favorite auto rifle. So, uh, the auto rifle we'll be talking about in today's video is a 600 RPM auto rifle. The auto is called the Perpetualist. Now, this auto rifle is honestly very, very strong. I was actually kind of shocked um, how well it competed with the meta in PvP. We all know right now the meta in PvP is Elsie's Rifle, Messenger, Bygones. Pretty much that's all you're seeing in Crucible. Uh, pretty boring. But yeah, we're going to be switching it up. Guys, I would like to clarify. I know this is 1903. Um, I'm going to be honest. My friend has not played Destiny in a while. And uh, he's been letting me use a couple of guns on his account that I've wanted to make videos on for a while now. So um, yeah, here we are. Again, thank you so much. But uh, yeah. Anyways, the loadout we're going to be rocking is Stompies, then a Matador, and the Perpetualist, of course. So, at the end of today's video, I will be doing something a little different and be covering over the enhanced perks and perks that you want to get and how you guys can obtain this thing. Let's talk about what we'll be using in today's video. We're going to be using a Ballistics mod, then Target Lock, Keep Away, Tactical Mag, Extended Barrel. We're going to have 69 range, 46 stability, and 52 handling. Overall, this thing has amazing aim assist too. It has 67 aim assist, which is pretty decent. Then we're going to be using triple strand targeting, uh, triple strand dexterity, triple unflinching strand, just because you guys know I love strand. If you guys want to sell it on the video, this is what I'm using on strand. But yeah, enough talking. I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Evitide Labs, man. I have played this map far too many times. Let's back up here. There's a lot of players in this lobby, of course. I'm going to try and play range here because we are using an auto rifle. Man, this thing hits like a laser beam, I can't lie. I really wish, though, they would buff 400 RPMs. Like, if they uh, buff the body shot TTK, I feel like these things could have a very, very good shot at becoming, like, very strong in PvP. I was unfortunate, man. There's definitely some sweaty players in this lobby. I think there's like two sweaty players and then just like everyone else is kind of a body lobby. Bro, can I spawn without being pushed? Thank you, Bungie. I got lucky with that shotgun pick. I wish they never nerfed target lock and they just nerfed like SMGs themselves because target lock was kind of a good perk, but not as good now. So uh, obviously I'll be going over some multiple perks that you can get on this thing that you want because uh don't reload after getting a kill because you're gonna proc target lock later in that mag so that's important especially if you're a warlock and use transverse of steps keep that noted here we go see we got uh from 27 to 30 there target lock's good in scenarios like that but like the first half of the mag you're not really gonna feel it so the ttk is gonna be about 27 per head which is gonna be a little bit annoying oh my gosh Yo, I don't know how I won that gunfight. That guy low-key, like, had me there for a second, I thought. I'm not sure what this guy is doing. Here we go. I don't know why I just reloaded after I told myself not to. I'm assuming this guy's gonna maybe slide me now. I don't want to push here because I know someone's gonna flank, but I'd rather take out this guy because this guy seems better. Well, if he hits that, honestly, respect for that guy going for that shot. That was cold. If he hit that, that would have been a clip. Um, I don't know what to do here. Ooh, that was a good play on that guy's side. I missed my shotgun shot, and I really needed to hit that. That was tragic for me, honestly. I hear somebody jumping right here. There we go. I got heavy, too, so good thing he had heavy. Let's see if we can find anyone here. Doesn't look... Oh, somebody's on my radar. I got a ping. Oh my gosh, my shotgun left him one shot. This is why I don't like using pellets though, because like, they're just so wonky. They'll do that sometimes and it's scary. Okay, and uh, that guy just did not hesitate to straight line me with the shotgun. Man, I really wish we could go back to the old checkmate system. That guy was in his inventory by the looks of it. There's a player back here. Oh my gosh, everyone's just running in this lobby. That guy got tagged by the barricade, and then this guy... Please run through. Please run through that barricade. Oh, that was actually a really smart play on that guy's side to do that uppercut ability. I'm not going to lie. I would have just ran through the barricade and shotgunned. That was, like, a big brain moment for that guy there. That was, that was really good. 
I gotta try that ability one more. I heard it's actually decent. Let's not engage with that gunfight, because that guy has the upper hand, and uh, that won't be a pretty fight for nobody. That guy's weak beyond his barricade. This thing has 44 bullets, too, so you'll never really need to worry about reloading. So, if you are gonna run target lock like I am, definitely uh, go with, like, the smaller barrel and uh, magazine, because you'll need it. Let's grapple player life for a moment here. Somebody has a GL by the looks of it. Yes, indeed they do. Oh, we're getting shot at from back here. Man, that's the thing that I really just don't like about Rumbles. People will do that, and it's just, it makes it so frustrating to play. But again, it is Rumble, so I mean, can't really do much about it. We are playing Rumble. Somebody uh, wanted Rumble instead of Control. So, yeah, that's, that's where we're at in today's video, of course. I'm missing so many shots. Okay, we almost won this match. Ooh, Strand. You know what? I don't like using super yo okay honestly if that guy just outplayed me there i had to give him full props like that would have been cold that actually would have been a clip for that guy there dude okay this is actually a bot lobby now i think all the good players left that's honestly sad well we won the match we finished it off with the super we literally got the last five kills with that super oh I... why is this guy teabagging me bro that's crazy I would drop to 4.8, so that was a pretty good match. Anyways, um, let's talk about what you guys want to get on this thing. Alrighty, guys, on to perks. Now, I'm going to be honest, this thing has a lot of really decent perks. So, uh, let's talk about it. So, to start with basics here, we are going to be running either polygon rifling or hammer forge rifling. I'd recommend hammer forge because you definitely need range, but if you can't control stability, definitely use polygonal. Then we're going to be using Accurized Range. You guys can either run Zen Moment or Elemental Capacitator. I'd recommend Zen Moment. Now we're going to be using either Golden Tricorn or Target Lock or Eye of the Storm. I'm going to be honest, I'd recommend Golden Tricorn because you're going to get bonus damage and uh, it's overall going to be really nice. Now keep in mind, you'll buff that TTK. Now, ideally, Target Lock can be a very good alternative, but yeah. This is really what you guys want to use on this thing. Range Masterwork, throw on a Ballistics mod. You're going to have 79 range, 41 stability, 62 handling. Yeah, that is really all you guys want. How do you get this thing? Um, Unfortunately, you literally just have to hope you get the drop from Xur. Really, really annoying. But you can buy all five of them. Xur does sell it. Banshee sells it as well. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Have a great night. Stay safe. Guardians, I would like to recommend you a fantastic service. To Bing.net, you can find teams to complete different activities like raids, dungeons, Charles of Osiris, exotic farming, and many more endgame activities. The best part about the service is it does not require you to share your account information whatsoever. You don't need to give your login or password to order a service that you like. All you have to do is select the self-play option. To do this, select something you like. In this case, I'll do Crow Design. You're going to choose your clear option. I'll be doing the full clear, so click full clear. Then select the self-play option. As you can see right now, we have $25. To get a discount, make sure you type in code HECTIC for a 15% discount here. As we can see right now, our total is $25.05. If we apply this coupon, we get $24, so you save a dollar. I would highly advise doing this. From here, you're going to choose a payment method. There's Visa, PayPal, and a few other payment options. In this case, we'll be using Visa. From here, agree to the terms and services, and then proceed to checkout. I would highly recommend Nimming.net, especially because the funnel shape is releasing and there's many awesome services that can be done. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.